Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going for Q4 of the weekly contest 239, uh, minimum interval to include each query. So, I don't know if you did the bi weekly, maybe not. If you did, then I have the same idea there about thinking about backwards. I think with these kind of problems, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, sometimes it's, it's, you know, it's more useful to think about the problem backwards. And what I mean by that is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. And let me know what you think about this problem. Um, but um, but yeah, for this one, you know, um, I think the natural thing to do and kind of what they want you to think through, uh, kind of, is to look at the intervals and then figure out for each queries um, how to fit the queries to the intervals. And, you know, the cool thing about this is sometimes... You know, th th these intervals and queries, they're just names, right? And what I mean by that is you can think about them backwards. Instead of uh, thinking about queries as queries and intervals as intervals, you know, you just, you can actually pre-process the queries. And then when you see intervals, um, you know, you could try to figure out which query fits the intervals, right? And so, okay. I actually end up taking okay, so I so I think end up taking about ten minutes on this farm about oh, roughly. I thought I could have been a little bit faster because of some debugging, but but the idea here is okay. So so let's say we have we put all the we process all the queries, uh, and by that I mean we process it and then and then um, we process all the queries. And then we put it in a way that we can binary search through them, say. Um, yeah, and there are a couple of data structures to do that. But yeah. And then after that, for each interval, we just binary search on the queries that we can we can salute, uh, that we can get the answer for. Um, though of course, for this problem, the answer is the size of the smallest interval. And so therefore, what you want to do is process the intervals from smallest to largest. And that's basically the core idea behind this problem. Uh, let's go through the code now. Uh, so for each query, I don't know why I said this because I actually don't use it anywhere else. Oh, uh, I guess I used it here. Um, for each query, so I have a sorted list again. You could use, there are definitely other data structures that you can use. But the reason why I did sorted list is so that I could delete stuff from it. it in an easier way, which you'll see in a, in a minute when I go through it. But yeah, basically for each query, I keep track of the number and also the index. And actually, now that I think about it, um, you actually don't need the index in the sorted list. You could have just actually put it in a lookup table or something like that, and that would be fine. Um, but that said, and that would make things a lot easier, actually. But, but yeah, and as we said, for the intervals, we sort it by the size, which is the end minus the beginning. So we want the smallest size first, so this is why this works. So now, for each interval, we just basically do a binary search on the queries. Um, we search on the start, we search on the end plus one. Eh, I mean, it's fine. There's some off by one. Uh, I do a plus one so that... Um, it goes to the next number, so that is inclusive, so that later you'll see later. Um, so that here I have to add a double, I have to ch check again, but but it's fine because this is pretty easy to do. This is pretty cheap, right? But yeah, so now we look at you know we do a binary search from the left, we do a binary search for the right, and then for each index inside the sorted list, we you know we do a so if the index is within the list because sometimes. It, um, if you do a binary search, uh, it returns uh, an index that's out of bounds, meaning that um, you want to be strictly speaking, um, it returns the index that is the next um, to be, at, you know, you want to add start, that's the index you you insert. So sometimes it could be big, it could be a, a length of SL or a sort of list. Um, so this is just an alias. And then now if if um if the the queries um if the queries between start and end meaning that it's inside the interval we first we add this to delete and then we set the answer for the you know this is the index that we kept track of we set the, this answer to the, the size that we keep track of now which is the end minus start plus one as we talked about um and that's pretty much it right 
Uh, the reason why we add this to a delete thing so that we delete later is because you don't want to you don't want to delete elements from an index while you're iterating through it. That's pretty much it. Otherwise, things would get weird. So yeah. Um, and then at the very end, as we said, we go through the delete and then we remove them by sorted list. And that's pretty much it. Um, so, so here for each queue, this is going to be O of Q log Q. Uh, basically, we just sorted all the queries in a sorted list. And then now for N, for each N, what do we do? We do two log Q operations. Uh, well, at least two, and then, and then, um, and then a couple of log Q that are deletions, right? And so this is actually, you could think about each Q would get added or get removed once. So that's going to be Q log Q, roughly speaking. So this is N log Q plus Q log Q um, in total, right? Um, because you can amortize or the Q, lock Q removals. Um, yeah, you can remove lock, uh, Q, lock Q, you know, you can amortize that, or the Q removals in Q, lock Q time. So this is the total time of this, and this, of course, dominates this, so this is the running time of the of, of the algorithm. Um, and in terms of space, we have a sorted list, and that's pretty much it. Right. Well, I mean, I guess we also have a list here, but it's, so so this is going to be all of Q space for the all the queries. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you can watch me solve a live in the contest next, and let me know what you think. Um, ta da! Let's skip ahead. Of course.
I sorted it first. I'm an idiot. Okay, so. Um.
Hmm, still wrong, but at least it is more comfortable. Oh, the size, whoops. We don't even need this actually. Still warm. Oh, I have to check, that's why. Um I I had to I remember this. Should be right, but maybe too slow. Okay, now I have to go back to this one. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Hope you stay good, stay healthy, stay well. Uh, and yeah, take care of yourself. And yep, stay good and to good mental health. See you next time. Bye bye.